my YouTube channel, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and also like the videos here. And you can also check out the playlist. So today I'm going to be speaking to a leading manufacturer of cosmetic surgery garments called Lipoelastic. Hi there, thank you for joining me. Please introduce yourself. Good morning, Rona. Thank you very much for having me. Um, I'm Patrick. I'm the area sales manager for Lipoelastic in the South UK, basically. And um, yeah, I work for Lipoelastic since almost two years, coming from Germany, and I love it. It's the That's best company I've ever worked for. <laughs> Brilliant, Patrick. I just want to say before we start that there is going to be a discount code in the comments. So that's for anybody to use if they want a um, 10% discount code. And also, I'm going to ask you a couple of member questions at the end as well. So if you haven't already covered it throughout the talk, then you can answer those questions as well at the end. Yeah. So, okay, Patrick, just, yeah, just tell me a little bit about the background of the company. So the great thing about Lipoelastic, um, it's still a family owned business that started in 2002 in the Czech Republic. So Mr. and Mrs. Radilova are the owners and they started from 15 employees until now with six subsidiaries and um, sending the garments in over 80 countries in the world. Um, wow. In 2016, we had this uh, subsidiary in the UK starting so quite uh, early actually. Um, so we're not in the UK for that long, but we're doing okay. really well. And um, other subsidiaries we have in Germany and France and the Benelux um, states. But um, as I mentioned, like we ship to all around the world. So over 80 countries covered. Wow. Yeah, and I mean... um, the other important thing is, so it's not only a, um, um, a family owned business, we also manufacture our own garments. So we oh. have our own production facility, our own development team, our own marketing. So it's all in-house and it's very short communication um, to, to get to production to ask questions to get feedback or to redevelop the designs Brilliant. Which are amazing Brilliant. i think yeah i mean i was looking at your website it looks like you have thousands and thousands of products i would take it you're probably one of the leading garment providers are you um it, it's actually it's actually true i don't want to be like uh, shed my own light but it's uh, like <laughs> continental europe we are the we are the number one brand in the uk we are still trying but since a year like actually since i started it's going really really well so mo yeah. most of the major hospitals like spire nuffields ramsey's hcs yeah. they all start using us and private clinics as well um, and I think it's also due to our great marketing and customer service, not only the garments, which are really um, high end. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I have one myself as well. So um, I know that a lot of, um, you know, the, the surgeons and stuff would be ordering the garments from you. Is it easy as well for like just an individual to buy a garment as well? Do you have any shops or where would you go to know, yeah. find out who your distributor is? So basically wherever, so we're talking about the UK, um, uh, we do have the eShop, of course. There is an eShop for each country, basically. There's going to be either a subsidiary which you can contact or there's going to be a distributor which you can contact. You can always get in touch with me. I can direct you to that person. Um, if you are in London or in the UK, we also have a um, boutique here in Islington, London, in North London, where you can book a private slot and you can get uh, measured. You can get your oh, own brilliant. bespoke garment, try on some garments, feel the fabrics. Just get in touch with us and we'll try to, um, to um, give you the best service and trying to find the right fitted garment for you which is very important for your post recovery period brilliant so i wanted to um kind of focus on the bbl procedure lots of people are having that done now so what sort of garments would you need for that scene as there's so much procedures being done do you need more than one garment um, so you wouldn't need more than one garment. Um, so we see um, there is a lot of those surgeries coming from South America. So the hourglass shape is like the new, the new hip, I would say. So we did develop garments that would compress those areas where the surgeon would take the fat, would take the liposuction and transfer it to, let's say, the buttocks, but also sometimes to the breast. So uh, we developed garments that have like um, compression over those areas where the lipo uh, where the lipo was taken, and don't compress in those areas where the fat was transferred to. So we have different options 
there is like even an open buttocks or like a oh, second okay. type, which is a mesh. So some people just don't want to show the skin when they wear this garment. So there's an option of not compressive mesh in the back, which still covers a little bit that doesn't give compression because it's very important to not compress those areas where fat was transferred to because it needs to even out and compression wouldn't help with that. Right. But okay. other areas, like if it was taken from the lav handles and transferred, yeah. this would have to be compressed. Okay. And what, what, what is that? Is that the, uh, what section on your website would you find those garments in? Does it have a So you would just name? type in, there's a search box. You would just type in BBL for Brazilian butt lift, for example. Then it would show you on the eShop, those are the garments. So we have the ones, they start from under the breast to mm -hmm. below the knee or above the knee. So those are the two options you have, like depending on what the surgeon would recommend what to cover. And um, then you have the option between BBO, which is Brazilian butt lift open buttocks or BBC with a <laughs> like closed I see. buttock. Yes. I see. Yeah. And tell me, Patrick, um, as somebody is recovering, do they need to buy different garments along the way or is it just the same garment through the whole recovery? Yeah, so as we recommend um, six to wear the garment for six to eight weeks to close actually that third space between uh, the tissue and the skin, which was created with the liposuction, we need to close this for six to eight weeks. We would recommend one on, one off garment. So it's easy to take that garment off, take a shower, take a fresh, put a fresh one on and um, wash the other one. So it's always better to wear yeah. two garments and it's not about the selling point. It's just for your yeah. own comfortability. Like um, good private clinics, they would include two garments in the surgery. If they don't use that discount code to get a second garment for yourself, yeah. you're gonna thank us later. And it's not, it's, it's really just about your comfortability because you should, you should wash because you're gonna leak it. You're going to leak mm. um, fluids and so on. It's, it's just, it's, it's going to be nicer for you uh, to have one, more than one garment. Yeah. So two garments would be ideal. That's great. So just tell me, for anyone like that wouldn't, you know, a bit maybe on the fence, do they need compression or not? What is the benefits of having the compression garment for any kind of surgery? Yeah, so it's not only about wearing some kind of compression garment. So it is important that it's certified material because it should be a medical compression garment. Some people, they go for a Colombian faja, which is too tight, which can cause okay. fibrosis. So if you just snatch yourself in and you think, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm so compressed, this is going to create fibrosis, which is an overhealing of tissue and skin, and you're going to look bumpy afterwards. If it's... Um, to, if it's not enough compression, let's say you go to M&S or you get some spangs, it's not going to close that space either. So it has to be a medical grade compression. Uh, we have great customer service. We're going to help you with the measurements. We're going to direct you to find the right size medical compression garment. And um, you have so many options with our portfolio as we also do bespoke. So if you see yourself not being in the, the sizing chart, we have the option of creating a bespoke garment for you, ideally to your shape of body within 48 hours, which is an amazing feature, which no one else has. Yeah, that's what I was actually going to ask you about next is the sizing. So like, yeah. you know, if you if your doctor just told you just go and buy the garment, like, is there anything that you can do measuring yourself to make sure that it fits properly? What would you kind of do? So absolutely. So if, if you have a measuring tape, that would be ideal. So you can make your measurements. If you have those measurements, you can either go on our online eShop and we have size charts under, under each garment. So you can go by those size charts. Important to know is with female compression garments, the hip circumference usually is the widest circumference you have, which is the hip bone. If you have that measurement, that is the dominant one, which will indicate which size you should go to. Um, mm. It would be ideal to measure the waist and the thighs as well to give you an indication towards what size you are leaning. Let's say mm. if you are in between sizes, always go by the hip circumference because that's the circumference that won't change after your surgery. It's always going to be the same because of your bone structure and the skeleton. Mm. That's good. That's good. So um, just say uh, someone wants to buy one of the garments and then they've just, you know, they find it doesn't fit. What would the returns be like? I mean, I'm assuming you can't return it once it's been opened or? Um, no, you actually, you can open it. So uh, the return policy is 14 days, so for two weeks. Okay. We say unwashed and unworn, but of course you need to try it on. If you mm. if you take it out of the bag and you try it on and you see this is, this is not tight enough or 
this is uncomfortable or too too loose, you can return it within those 14 days. That's not a problem. Um, best thing is just to call customer care. Don't worry, don't stress, because the least thing you want <laughs> like a patient that's stressed after surgery because the body is in stress, the mind is in stress. We just want to have you patients and we're going to support yeah. you in the best way we can with the return as well. So don't worry. That's brilliant. So I have um, a couple of questions here from some members. Um, now, obviously, it's you know your own personal opinion. So, you know, just give your own opinion. So one yeah. of the questions I have is, um, how important is it to wear the compression garment after a tummy tuck? My doctor said I only need to wear it for two weeks. Um, so we can only speak out recommendations. Like we are like developing garments with um, surgeon, with surgeons, together with surgeons. So um, over the last almost 20 years, we've developed this mm. insight. So we would always recommend six to eight weeks. In the end though, the surgeon is the one that can tell you what to do. If he tells mm. you only wear the garment for two weeks, that's his own opinion. I wouldn't, this is just my own opinion, as you said, like I wouldn't okay. approve that because the majority of surgeons would definitely go at least for four to six to eight weeks, but it really depends on the surgeon. Some use mm -hmm. different techniques, so I would really just communicate with the surgeon and whatever he tells you, you should go by that. Brilliant, yeah. So other question I have as well is um, six weeks post-op and my doctor says I can stop the compression but, but I feel weird without it. Is there anything else I can transition to? Yes, absolutely. There is, <laughs> of course, of course there, we, we, we did think about that as well. So as I said, some patients, they like wearing the compression that they still feel uncomfortable not wearing it. So we do have yeah. a second stage, which is called the unique line, which is made out of um, like a micro massaging material, which is like a transitioning fabric between the, the stronger medical compression to your regular day um, um, outfits. So you, for that period, like let's say after six to eight weeks after, po after surgery, you could wear that, which will still give you a little bit of support, but it's not as compressive anymore, but it will hold it in place. And the second option is also be, because we talk with a lot of MLD therapists who say that after week eight, you can actually put a body shaper on, which will give you a nice shape as well. So we do um, reach out to a uh, lifestyle wear as well. So we do have body shapers or active leggings, which you can wear at the gym or at just lounging at home, which will give a shape as well and do a little bit of compression and will make you feel more comfortable even if you're still suffering post-op. Brilliant, so Patrick, much. I'll let you get back to work and just thank you so yes. much, yeah? Thank you so much, take care, take care and speak, speak soon. Bye-bye.